Every child deserves a computer, but not every family can afford one. That's why one man has collected, repaired, and distributed thousands of computers to families in need. Maybe he'll inspire you. to Robert Toporek and his volunteer-run organization, Team Children, more than 4,000 needy families now have computers. And he joins us today to tell us more about the project. Welcome. Thank you. Idea for Team Children. There's a lot of uh, stress in the families that we help because of their economic conditions. Mm -hmm. And not having a computer exasperates that problem because they have to stay after school, go to the library, borrow right. one from their friends, or oftentimes do without. Once they get a computer, that stress gets relieved and they have a lot more freedom to kind of do what they need to do to well, further themselves. How do you get these computers in the first place? Where do they come from? Well, initially I prayed a lot, <laughs> so I think they came from God. Yeah. And, uh, and then some companies and individuals uh, began to donate them. QVC gives us a lot, Children's Hospital, and then just over 1,500 individual people from all over the region have driven here to bring us equipment. We have over 2,000 in here now. Wonderful. Over 4,000 have come and gone. It's a basic computer a really great computer that will do everything that, to get through school and to teach their young ones. How does someone get one? Everyone who wants a computer has to write us a letter explaining why they can't afford one, how it's going to help their family or children. We charge people $185 for the computer because that's our only source of funding. Well, and these computers you, they need work. They need work. And, yeah. and a lot so of that it, costs money. That costs money. It costs yeah. money to keep the doors open. Uh -huh. It keeps, costs money for rent. It, there's a lot of administrative costs right. involved in the project. And it takes really an extraordinary commitment. And then once you have that commitment, a couple prayers, letters to companies, flyers to find volunteers. This warehouse I call 49 Realtors before our um, real estate agent donated the warehouse for a year. That's how we got started. Cassandra Geddes, a single mother of four, applied for a computer her children could use for schoolwork. It would give them an opportunity to do research at home without going out. Elizabeth Woodland also sent a letter to Team Children. I am the mother of two boys. Their father died in a car accident. I think today every child needs to learn at an early age to use a computer. All the kids today have them and I didn't want them to miss out. And actually I'm going to learn right along with them. Obviously the computers don't fix themselves. And that's where your team of volunteers, in addition to yourself, comes in. You know, the project kind of attracts the people. We also right. have volunteers upstairs doing administrative things, graphic design, phone calls, and that sort of stuff. We don't have enough of them, but we have some of them. But the people who fix the, the computers? The people who fix the computers, some of them don't know anything. Really? And they come here and they start learning. And some of them know a little bit, and they end up learning a lot. Now, do you have a background in computers? Well, yes, but uh, it's a lot different than working on the small stuff. I was working with Control Data Corporation, uh, and sometimes in uh, research and development. But I'm sort of learning a lot here. I'm fixing up the computer. I'm getting ready. I'm actually installing a modem right now. I go, I'm a senior at West Hickman High School. We have an internship, and I come here for usually about two hours a day. Do you have any kind of advice that you could give people who might want to start something in another part of the country. I know you talked about motivation. All they need is a computer and a family right. and a volunteer to get started. Thank you, Robert. This has been an enlightening and stimulating program. For more information, why don't you write to the address you see on your screen or visit our website. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.